Hello, welcome back to another new release video. Today we have the new 2024 Tops Holiday Mega Box, which is really fun uh, set to collect right around the holidays. They've made some pretty uh, big changes to this, and I'm not sure if I really like them because I thought it was fun to hunt the different variations um, inside of uh, the set for the cards, such as the Santa, the... Uh, candy cane bat, the necklaces, and things like that, the lighted necklaces around in a Santa hat. Um, those used to be based on rarity, so some of them were harder to get than others. Now they're all on an equal playing field, and they're all the same. So there's no uh, one of those var those variations that is easier or harder to get. They're all on a level playing field to get. Now, on the other hand, you're still going to have your colored Bobby Witt here on ours, which is a neat design for the ornament this year, which is like a gingerbread uh, house with Bobby Witt here with the Christmas hat on. And, oh, we got one more pack inside of here. Let's get rid of that. Um, there is an autograph in every box or or relic, I should say. Autograph or relic in every single box here. It's a 200 card base set. So it's not super big, but pretty much like all the stars. Paul Skeens is in here. Yes, Paul Skeens has a card in this set. Um, so that's going to make it a fun thing for people to buy and collect because everybody's hungry for the Paul Skeens cards right now. Um, so they got something different in here that um, I'm waiting to see. I haven't seen any yet, but um, they're pretty rare. And they're called Santa Archives, Hidden Elves, and there's a Gingerbread Man and a Snowman. Now what that is yet... We really don't know. <laughs> That's the question. So we have to wait and, you know, find out basically once we start opening packs and hitting one. Hopefully we'll hit one. Um, but yeah, nice affordable. You're going to pay about $30 for these at the store right now. Maybe some will have them for more, $35 to $40. Um, but it's always a, a big hit right around the, the holidays here too. There's 10 packs per box and 10 cards per pack so let's get right into here there's the first five or so here and let's take a look and see what these look like now you have to look closely for the variations and i think there's going to be something in each pack but I haven't noticed anything at this pack. I have a hard time spotting this stuff. So the design of the card's interesting. They've taken the flagship product, but put all this neon looking stuff in the background, uh, which is pretty cool. So I, I don't even know this with this pack. I thought each pack had at least one in there, but um, if we missed it there, let's keep going because I know those metallic cards are definitely one in each Here's our relic already, Jordan Lawler. So we're not going to get an autograph in here. I think autographs are pretty much falling one in every 30-ish boxes, really. So they're, they're sort of pretty rare and hard to find. But I'll tell you what, I'll leave it up to you. You guys can help me find these relics in here. Or these Im image variations in here. I remember back in 2022, it was a really cool set. Here's a metallic Bryson Stott. 20, oh, so that's in the middle of the pack. So we were possibly looking towards the back of the pack, which is where I thought they were at. But uh, that one came in the middle of the pack. So let's be conscious of that and look more towards the middle of the pack. It's a little tough when they don't turn them backwards or anything like that. Now if they throw me the metallic, that makes it super easy because game over. That's easy to spot Aaron Judge there. 
On a Terex Google card. So yeah, I don't know if you noticed this, but I went back to take a look at this pack real quick. And here is our interesting card here. This is Jazz Chisholm, which is not in the checklist. So he was added late. This is not his first card in the Yankee uniform uh, for, for top stuff, but it is his second one. So this is a card number 165. And if you look at the information on Beckett, it tells us that card number 165 is short printed Jazz Chisholm, which is also the card of um, Paul Skeens. Paul Skeens is 165. So with that being said, I don't know if they sh shorted. They might have said, hey, let's not give as many Paul Skeens and we'll swap it out with some of these. So Paul Skeens might be a little more rare too. That's to be determined. We're going to have to find out that. But that's definitely a card that's... Um, more of a short print right there, the um, the Jazz Chisholm. So as usual, just when we first get the uh, set, we're just getting to learn a few things about it. And things come out more and more after more packs is op are, are opened. Like now I'm a pro at the stadium club, and I know just pretty much everything about it. All right, let's see what we've got here and see if we can find the next big short print, Alex Bregman. I am terrible at this. We don't have to look too hard because we got one of these blues. Blue foil. These blue, they're like blue foil. They're really nice uh, card here on the blue foil. Which in the set they call it blue metallic glitter. There's one in every 10 mega boxes or 10 packs. So you're going to get one per mega box basically. That's your box hit right there. Is your blue metallic. All right, here is the silver glitter. Call it silver glitter, but it's Tatis here. There's nothing glittery about that particular card, to be honest with you. Sort of like a matte type finish. I'm not sort of really crazy about that, but um, okay. So we gotta start looking closer at here to see what we can do to find our Santa hat right here, Jason Dominguez. Now, didn't we just have a Jason Dominguez here? But that's crazy, because that's like a black Santa hat. That's just crazy. So I wish there was rarities. Oh, I was talking about the back in 2022, and I'm sorry that I didn't pick up where I left off. 2022... Uh, holiday stuff. There was a Julio Rodriguez with a Santa hat on. And that card ended up going for pretty big money. I got one graded. And it sold for hundreds of dollars. And because obviously got the rookie card logo. They were limited. I'm not sure the stats on it. The data of how many there were. But I know there wasn't very many um, out there. Here's our Ellie De La Cruz. This falls right in the area where the um, where, where the short where the variations are, but I don't see that this is a, a, a variation at all on that one because we got our metallic right after the Anthony Volpe, Romuto. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's take a look here. Acuna. All right, we got to start looking here in the middle of the pack. Cold Keith, my man, right there. 
nice cold Keith card. Here it is. So these fall right in the middle of the pack. Now we're catching on here. Jose, Jose, the hat right there. So basically, I believe you're going to have three. Oh, Paul Skeens. We got a Paul Skeens here. A very last card <clears throat> of our very last pack. And we got a Paul Skeens. That's fantastic. That's going to round out our $30 right there. You got the Chisholm short print. We got a base Skeens. You've got your metallics. I can see the metallic now on this a little bit now that it's sitting at the angle. It looks really matte at first, but if you have it sitting at the right angle, I can see now the metallicness in it, which is really cool. You still can't see it. You got to see this card in person. The camera won't pick up on that for some reason, but I'm getting it now. Um, so I missed one in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. It's pretty difficult to find one of those variations if you didn't get it when you got the pack the first time. It's a little tough. So make sure you take your time um, when you're looking for them. Here, let's pull this out first. L.A. De La Cruz on our ornament. That's a pretty sweet card right there. Probably one of the better. I used to sell ornament sets in my previous uh, years that I've had this product. The previous years I've opened up a lot, a lot, a lot of it. And this year I'm not going to. Um, just because I got too much other things going on and don't, don't, do not have the time to, to build the sets and things of that nature or to list the cards. So uh, I'm going to sort of just do this review with you here, show you what's inside of it. Talk about it a little bit and tell me what you've got um, inside of your boxes if you bought any. It's a pretty affordable product, so a lot of people will buy this and just it's a, definitely a fun rip and probably make really good stocking stuffers. I uh, I know that Card Giants also has them available for sale right now still, so you can get a good deal on Card Giants from them. That's sort of like my new preferred place to buy. If you're going to get some good deals there. You know, we ship really, really fast. So, all right, let's do a little bit different on this one. Let's hope for an autograph in this one. So, so if there's 10 cards in, you're probably starting to look. Well, here's our hit right here. And that is a Jose Altuve. So now we know we're not going to get an autograph. Because now that's our relic right there. So now if we count four cards in, that's when you can start looking after your one, three, four. So you know that your variation should be right. About the fifth card. Oh, well here it is right here. It's a metallic. So you're gonna get this metallic and you know the rest of the cards are just gonna be base here. All right, let's see, we got one, two, three all right so here's card number four that's not it colt parker meadows Is that card number five and here we, i was right shota amenaga with the the lights uh necklace right there and that's our that's our hit right there Freeman, three, four, Acuna on the metallic, nice hit there. Jackson Merrill, that's a good card. Three, four, five. So here would be five. I don't see it there. And I certainly don't see it in the Kirby card either. So I guess it's not going to be in every pack since you're going to have three of them in the box. 
in your metallics. You're not going to get one in every pack, I suppose. That'd give you a good idea where to look, though, because uh, four, five, six, card number six, Carlos Correa. All right. Yeah, because if you don't find them, so this is our first one in this box as well. Just the Christmas tree. Wow. So you mean we're going to find two more here? I don't know. Packs seem like they're a little harder to open than most uh, packs. There's something binding it right here, making it a little bit harder. All right, here we go. So here's our blue metallic, one in each box right there. Dane Raffaella, Silver Metallic, Anthony Volpe, Cease. Those are nice, uh, nice pack right there. Okay, Chris, there's a Santa hat right there. See how easy it is to blow by? That's card number five, Boba Shot, Santa hat. Dominguez there. All right, last pack here. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Three. Otani. My first Otani. And then a metallic, Max Meyer. That's it right there. So you got our two boxes. We got a couple of nice um, ornaments here. A Wit and a De La Cruz. We got one Paul Skeen's base. We got our two relics here, a Lawler and Al Tuve. Here's a short print, Jazz Chisholm, that is not on the checklist, but it is in there. Card number 165, which is the same number as Skeen's, if you want to look at that. It's interesting that they did that, but it is a short print, so those will be a little bit more rare to pull. Two card number 165s, because the Chisholm is definitely a short print. So there it is. You saw it here first. Card number 165, both versions. And it looks like we got two variations per box. That looks like what I got. I don't know if I missed any because I went back and looked at it. And then you're going to get one of these blue uh, metallics per box. We got the lighter and the Lipscomb. So pretty fun, definitely an affordable um, way to open cards, and you're going to probably get an auto in one of a 30 to 40 boxes, I would assume, so it's basically a, a big luck thing, but tell me in the hits and show me what you, um, you pulled in your boxes. Uh, tell us in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye now.